Greetings, my wonderful friends. This is your prophet, Prophet Great. Please, today is your very first time of watching a program. We love you. We celebrate you. I will urge you that you share with your friends. The Lord bless you. Today, we are looking at a very powerful subject. We are looking at the power of the power of new bath. New bath is not going to church. New bath is not being identified with a department. New bath is not fun. New bath is a wonderful experience. New bath is no religion. New bath is not answering a Christian name. New bath is not being from a Christian family. Or a Christian home. No. The Bible speaks in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever received him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is new birth. Now John chapter 1 verse 12. The Bible speaking in says. But to them that receive him, to them he gave them power to become the sons of God. That is new birth. That is why the Bible also speaking in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse number 17. The Bible speaking is says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. He's a new creation. All things has passed away. Behold. All things have become new. So new creation changes your identity. New creation changes everything about you. It changes your totality. New creation gives you a new look. New creation makes you talk differently. You talk like Christ. You act like Christ. You walk like Christ. You do things like Christ. You reason like Christ. Because the mind of Christ is in you. The Bible speaks in the book of Peter. He says, we are not born of the corruptible seed. But we are born of the incorruptible. New creation is God giving back to you by his spirit. 4 John 5 verse number 4. He says, for whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. Praise God. New creation simply means you are born of the spirit. You are born of the incorruptible seed, which is the word of God. And that is why no devil can touch you. That is why no devil can frustrate you. That is why no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. Because you are a new creation in Christ. Christ is in you. And you are in Christ. Jesus speaking, he says... For, for you are in me, and I in you. Praise God. Jesus speaking says, I'm in you, and you are in me, and I am in the Father. Praise God. New birth makes you manifest the glory of God. Colossians chapter 1 verse number 27. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. New birth makes you a child of God. New birth makes you a highly anointed. You are the seed that the Lord has blessed. Anyone that has no Christ has no life in him. And that is why a lot of people today are only existing without living. Many are not living, they are only existing. They have no vision for their lives. Their life has no direction. Their life is not anchored on anything. They are just parabletting in life, doing nothing. They have no plan and program for their lives. And that is why at 30, nothing to show. 35, nothing to show. 40, nothing to show. 50, nothing to show. Why? Because such a person is merely existing, is not living. Because the individual lack Christ. When you lack Christ in your life, you lack 
the right bearing. New birth empowers you to function like God. New birth empowers you to function effectively like God. New birth empowers you to dominate. New birth make you think productive thoughts. New birth empowers you to possess your possessions, to manifest God's royalty on the earth. New birth empowers you to replenish on the earth. New birth empowers you to do exploit for the kingdom. New birth empowers you to subdue, to be in charge. New birth empowers you to be wealthy and successful in the kingdom. Every born again child of God is born to be a power carrier. Every child of God is power loaded. Every child of God is a power producing machine. And until you receive Jesus into your life as your personal Lord and Savior, you will never have new birth experience. Until you receive Jesus into your life as your personal and savior, you can never manifest God's power, God's unction, God's anointing upon your life. Christ is the access through which we assess God's inheritance in a new birth. New birth initiates you into the world of power. New birth initiates you into the world of the supernatural. New birth changes everything about you. At new birth, you are recreated. At new birth, you are connected and engrafted into God. At new birth, you and God become one. At new birth, a strange, solid, cemented and concretized relationship is established between you and God your Father. New birth is not just a mere confession, I'm a Christian. New birth is the manifestation of the life of Christ in a human life. The Bible is speaking about the, the apostles. When people look at them, they saw Christ in them. That is new birth. It changes everything. It changes your status, your finance, your look, your speech, your character, your behavior, your way of reasoning. Everything. It changes everything. They see you as a strange person in this world because you are an ambassador of Christ. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. Receive the grace to manifest your new birth, your new creation, your newness in Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name. Shalom and God bless you.